Ah, you see, to capture the best opportunities, not to do the process, not to follow the process, but to catch the opportunities. Rather than avoiding uncertainty, just jump in. So I know that it sounds scary, but this is what we will talk about the entire class, because this is what new market uh, in the United States, this recession where we have to survive, we have to compete, and it's not easy. If you're a non-profit, we have to compete for donors' money. Donors are in not in good condition now, and they're very much um, careful about who to give their support. Government is not in good condition now. Again, for, to, make, uh, to receive these grants, they make their <coughs> decision on the base of several uh, criteria. And of course, if you have some ideas which is really interesting, which is really fresh, you can get this. And I don't even say, I don't even mention about private businesses because it's obvious that this is the reality of, um, of current market. Okay, so tradition. Planning, organizing, leading, coordinating, controlling. This is traditional management. Planning, management by objectives. Management by objectives. And you remember what this means. You have your uh, objectives, you have your goals, which are very much specifically um, written down. Very specific goals. And then... <coughs> You just let your employees achieve these goals, and you, uh, of course, control um, these results. And then, at the, maybe in the middle of this process, and of course at the end of this process, you sit together with the employee and ask, okay, we planned a year ago this, 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 and that. Have you achieved this, 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 and that? This is management by, by objectives. Then, organizing. When we build <coughs> organizational structures, when we choose the right organizational structure, we choose the structure which follows strategy. Say, if you have one product, functional organization is nice. Especially if you have one product and, of course, with several maybe variations of this product, but it's still, uh, you know, maybe... Uh, you know, grocery store, or it might be you no know, shoes, or it might be construction of houses, but still one product. And we work in one market like Southeast Alaska, or um, Seattle, or other places. You need simple structure, and it's okay. If you have several products, or and you have several markets, you choose divisional structure, etc., etc. So, first of all, you decide your strategy, and then you choose the, uh, uh, you choose, I just, yeah, so, it will be easy for you. Uh, <coughs> we choose the right strategies. Uh, after right strategies, we choose the right organization, structure. Then, leading, <coughs> again, traditional approach that you are in charge for your followers. Leaders are in charge. You have to think about them. You have to coach them. You have to care about them. People, people choose you. Or if you decide to be a leader, you are in charge for for, for your employees. Like you know, like always, like like in religious, they kind of you know you're kind of shepherd in this life, and they follow you. This is a leading role, which is um, very important in traditional management. Coordinating, establishing in organizational structure. Again, when you uh, uh, create your organizational structure, you write these lines between uh, between different jobs, and these lines, like processes, are established. And you know in this organization who exactly you have to bring this information, who exactly you have to take you know, this decision, and if you have this decision, who to go to this question. So it's kind of, you know, um, you know, kind of the lines where you have to move to these or that decisions. And controlling. Uh, traditionally, it's merit system. 
merit system, tenure and seniority. So if you work in an organization five years, um, it's much better than to work one year. And you have criteria of what good job means, and you just follow the rules. And if you do this, you will be okay. New planning, simple rules. It's what we will discuss today. Organizing. New idea is that it's not structure which follows strategy, but vice versa. We find our new strategy in the process of uh, operating in boundaries organization. Our organizations are so unclear now and structure is so fuzzy and it's exactly what helps us to be flexible. Leading, and we will talk about this, instead of you are in charge for followers, you are venture capitalist plus general manager. Coordinating, instead of establishing, it's very much self-developing. So people are in charge who to ask their questions. If they don't know who to ask, they must figure out. So it's not your job to tell everybody where to go or who to ask. And controlling, you see, instead of merit system, tenure and seniority, we have <coughs> work worth pay for. That's it. It might be nice, nice, nice work done, but if nobody is ready to pay for this work, we don't need it. That's it. So clients, internal and external clients, decide which product is good and which product is not. And it, it's not ex only for um, products related to external market. It's also for our internal um, divisions as well. So step number one, planning. Simple rules. And this entire part of our class is based again on the uh, publication of Kathleen Eisenhardt and uh, Soul, her co author, 2001 uh, in Harvard Business Review. It's really good, really good article. The, se uh, the next part of management is uh, structures. And we say that boundaryless, boundaryless organization. <coughs> uh, has developed because it's dissemination of information. It used to be uh, extremely important for organization to have very defined structure because it was easy for people to, un it was imp important for people to find who to ask for this on that uh, information and who to send this and this information and who to coordinate with. That's why we established such well-structured organization. And now our employees, we can go to our website and find all this information. We can go, you know, we can send email with copies for 100 people and everybody receive this email. So all these, you know, lines in organization becomes kind of fuzzy and fuzzy because we don't need them so much. And just remember about the simple rules. If, this if these employees have their rights and uh, we expect them to be active in finding new ideas, how we will make this organization? So where they are? Is it managers, people who brought this project? Are they top managers? Are they field employees? Who are they? And we understand that if we want people, instead of doing processes, bring in results, new ideas, and manage these new ideas until the final results, we have to change this. We have to change this organization. So definitely in your structure, which you have now, the idea of simple rules might not work just because structure is different. Um, <clears throat> We need boundaries organization because some because it's more and more difficult to distinguish be, between ex internal clients and external clients. 